Hi everyone, welcome along. I'm now going to show you how to access the P menus on our Vidstons 100 combi boilers. The P menu is what I like to refer to as the customer menu. The reason being is some of the parameters that the customer might like to change. Okay, all the menus that I'm going to show you now are in our manufacturer's instructions which you can find on VBooks online. The P menu is actually in the operating instructions so you will need to download the operating instructions also if you haven't got a copy to hand. Okay, so we're now going to go to the controller and I'll show you how to access the P menu. Okay, so when you get to the boiler, if the boiler's not been operated for quite some time and you've not interacted with the boiler, you do get this light guide flashing on the front. Okay, to wake the boiler up, what we do is we just press the menu button and that wakes the boiler up and you get the front display on the boiler. Okay, so now to access the P menu, all we do is simply hold the menu button for a minimum of four seconds and now you can see the P menu appears. So all the P menus can be found in the operating instructions. We will put a shot in screen now so you can see this. What you will notice when I go through is I won't be able to access all of the numbers as we go through on this video. That's because it depends on what you've set up in C7 for your operating type as to what you can see in the menus in the back. Okay, so for in this example, when we went into the P menus, P2 appeared straight away, meaning that P1 is not available. And I'll just demonstrate that for you. So to toggle through the P's, we just press the up or down arrows, like so. And we can see there, there's no P1. Okay, so P1 is actually our temperature level. So if we were using the internal timer inside the, uh, inside the display to control the boiler, P1 would then become active. In this scenario, I've actually got it in C7 as number 13, which is uh, with external demand. So P1 will not become available. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick overview of how to get through this menu and what some of them are in the background and how to access that. I won't go through every single one as we go through. Okay, so again, P3 won't be available because I haven't got weather compensation attached at this time. Also, P4 is not available because we're not using the internal timer. However, we can go into P5, which is the display brightness. So to access then, once you're in P5, is press OK, and then you actually go into there. So you can see there, we're on 100% screen brightness. So for example, if this is fitted in uh, somewhere like a bedroom or a bedroom compartment, and you need to adjust the brightness down, you simply press the down arrow and set it to whatever's comfortable for, you, for the customer. Again, if you want to adjust it again, just go back in. If you want to come out, press the menu button and you can toggle through that way. Okay, so we go back into P5, into display brightness and put it back up to 100%. Okay, P6 is display standby mode, P7 is internet access and P8 is low power radio access and information. Okay, we can go into P10 and P11, which is set in the date and time. When you first do your commission, you actually can set the date and time on your commissioning, but then the only other way to get back into setting the date and time is into P10 and P11. And the customer can do this also, because this is a customer focused uh, menu. Okay, so to uh, have a look at the time and date, we press okay, and we're on P10, which is the date, so we can see today it's the uh, 26th, Press OK again, it's the month 01, and then the year 22. And if we wanted to adjust that, we press the up or down arrows, not forgetting to press OK to confirm. Okay, so P11 is the time, and again, press OK to toggle through, and we can say that's all set now. Okay, so when we're finished with our P menu, and we'd like to go back to the main screen, we simply press the menu button once, and then we're back on the main screen on the boiler. 